Hello YouTube, Tim here again with my continuing experiment with my home guard bow. This was my 4.0 bow that I then turned into 4.1 by chopping one inch off of each side. Not the outer limb, but the inner limb. I actually cut an inch of pipe off, thus stressing the whole bow more by making it shorter. I raised the draw weight about 8% by every 1% that I shortened it. I shortened it by about 3%, so the draw weight rose by 24-25%. Pretty impressive. I'm satisfied with that. However, I want to see what happens if I take another inch off. So, not only did I remove the original knocks, but I also cut a new knock one half inch on either side inside. Okay, so literally an inch off the top. In this case, uh, it's like I said, only one inch total has been removed. So we're going to have to go and see exactly what's the, what that's done to the, the draw weight of the bow. This is going to be fun, or it's going to be boom. I'm hoping more excitement, less explosion. The brace height's a little too low because I have not shortened the string up. I can, but for now it's functional, it's doing fine. We'll just go ahead and test it, and then if it warrants it, we can take it off or leave it. And the brace height's very low at four and a half inches. I would not want to shoot this sucker. Now, the original one had wrist slap. This thing, shorter, nastier, much heavier, yeah. My forearm cringes. I do everything I can to keep my, my arm out of the way of a bowstring, but there's not much you can do with a, a bow like this. Okay. We are on. First of all, 20 inches. That should prove no problem. And 36 and a half pounds. I'd like to remind you that the original bow was about 30 pounds, was it? No, 36, it was about that weight at full draw. So we've, we've amped it up quite a bit. This is good, this is going very well. 22 inches. Forty pounds. Forty 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 point four zero. Twenty-four pounds inches, sorry. What, two pounds an inch ballpark? That's pretty standard, pretty normal. From 24 to 28, I'm going to take it one inch at a time, because this is making me nervous. Not so nervous that I have a helmet on, or goggles. The goggles would probably be a good idea. But, 25 inches. Forty-six and a quarter. Well, we're already exceeding, or we're meeting the, the draw weight of the original bow, the original home guard bow. Twenty-six inches. That was forty-seven pounds at twenty-eight inches, and I believe it could be drawn a little bit farther than that. Forty-eight seventy-five. Twenty-seven inches. Fifty fifty pounds. Point eight fifty point eight pounds. Leaving. Drum roll, please. 28 inches, and hopefully, no bow explosion.
52 pounds, 0.85. That's a very even gain of roughly two pounds per inch throughout. Right at the beginning, I like that. 20 pounds by 10, in, 20, 10 or 12 inches, that's great. Okay, so there we have it. It's definitely heavier than the original bow. It's definitely heavier than the last bow. I'll go add this to my pile of information. And now that we've hacked off an extra inch, we can crunch some more numbers. And then, uh, this time I want to shoot it. I actually want to get out and see how well it shoots and how fast it shoots. I'll probably t take some chronograph data, and then I'll probably do the same thing again. I'll cut a new knock. I'll get rid of the old knock. I'll make it shorter. This time, the only thing is, again, Ken Holm, a very, very knowledgeable guy, suggested taking a look at a forum on was it Primitive Archer, one of those forums, where they talk about how to make the most efficient Holm guard bows. And those bows that are most efficient would tend to be 50% inner working limb, 50% stiff, rigid, non-bending outer limb. So it's hard to tell, but this is pretty darn close to 50-50. Take a look at this. This is not where the rigid limb ends. The rigid limb actually ends here. So at least to this point, you have to consider rigid. I'll take that. Except for the handle section, this is very close. Maybe I'll heat up the, the inner limb and take off another half inch on each side. I want to progress very slowly now because it's working well, and we're getting close. Obviously, we have to be getting closer to the limits of what the PVC can take. I know sooner or later it's going to explode, and Schedule 80 has always had a little bit of a tendency to do that if it's mistreated. So this being one inch Schedule 80, I think it has some fantastic potential for performance. But I think it also has some potential to be really, really aggressive and violent in its explosion. So let's just find out exactly what it'll take. And thanks for watching YouTube. See you guys later.